Hello everyone, welcome you all on my YouTube channel study.com. I hope you all are doing good. Let's continue our ancient Indian history series, Inter Valley Civilization. Today we are discussing about art, craft and script of Inter Valley Civilization. So let's get started. The arts of the Inter Valley Civilization emerged during the second half of the third millennium BC. The forms of art found from various sites of the civilization includes sculptures, seals, pottery, jewelry, terracotta figures, gold ornaments, etc. The delineation of humans and animal figures was highly realistic in nature. Modeling of figures was done in an extremely careful manner. The major materials used for artistic works were stones, bronze, terracotta, etc. Here, first we are discussing stone statue. There are two major stone statues, that is, beard man and male torso. Beard man was a priest king or priest man. The stone sculpture of the beard man was discovered at the ruin of Mohenjo-daro. This figure is made of tea tanks. The figure is covered in a shawl that comes under the right arm and covers the left shoulders, indicating that it is a priest. The shawl has a trifoil design on it. The eyes are half closed as if in meditation. Nose is well formed and medium sized. Short beard and whiskers as well as a short moustache. Wearing an armlet and probably other jewellery. Second figure, male torso. Male torso is completely nude. Made of red sandstone. It legs, arms and head were broken. It is found in Harappa. There are socket holes in the neck and shoulder for the attachment of head and arms. Another important artistic work was bronze casting. The bronze casting was a widespread practice during the Inter Valley Civilization. Bronze statues were made by the lost wax technique. Examples of bronze casting are Dancing Girl and Bull from Mohenjo-daro. The Dancing Girl statue stands as proof of finest metal working skills of Inter Valley people. It is found from Mohenjo-daro, made up of bronze. It shows a high degree of development in the art form of sculpture. The figure shows vigor, variety and ingenuity. The right arms of the dancing girls rest on the hip and the left arms is heavily bankled made of bone or ivory. She has large eyes and flat nose. The statue holds a small bowl against her left leg. Necklaces adorn her body. Her hair is braided and her head is slightly thrown back. The bull from Mohanjadaro. It found in Mohanjadaro. The animal is short standing with his head turned to the right. A cord is wrapped around the neck. Another important artistic work was terracotta. People of Inter Valley were created terracotta images. Most important terracotta images are those of the mother goddesses. Toy carts with wheels, rattles, birds and animals were also made from terracotta. The most important terracotta figures in the Inter Valley civilization is a figure of mother goddesses. The idea of mother goddesses is associated with the idea of motherhood fertility, procreation, and the continuity of life. The upper body is covered with heavy head ornament and the lower body with a short skirt or sari fastened by a waist band. Next, we are discussing about seals of Inter Valley Civilization. The seals of Inter Valley Civilization were one of the remarkable artistic creations of their culture. Thousands of seals have been discovered by archaeologists from the Inter sites. Usually, most of the seals were made of steel. A few of the seals were made of 
കോപ്പ് എഗൈറ്റ് ഷെർ ടെറാകോട്ട മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സീൽ ഹാവ് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ആനിമൽസ് വിത്ത് സംതിങ് റിട്ടൺ ഇൻ എ പിക്ടോഗ്രാഫിക് സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് seals were primarily used for commercial purpose there are writing on both side of the seals the script were written from right to left the subject matter of these seals were the figures of animals such as tiger elephant bison goat buffalo unicorn humped bull etc the most typical seal of indus valley civilization is square shaped with a set of symbols along the top an animal in the center and one or more symbols at the bottom rest of the seal shapes includes triangle rectangle and circle seals were also used as amulets carried on persons of their owners perhaps as modern day identity card The Pashupati seal of the Indus Valley civilization is the most famous seal. Pashupati seal is also called Proto Shiva seal. It is made up of steatite steel sitting in a yogic posture found in Mohenjo-daro. It shows a three-faced deity wearing a buffalo horn headdress seated cross legend on the throne surrounded by an elephant, a tiger, a buffalo, a rhinoceros with two deer at his feet another important aspect pottery of indus valley civilization the pottery from harappa is another specimen of the fine arts of the indus people the indus valley pottery consists chiefly of very fine wheel made ware very few being handmade Pottery is found at excavation site can be broadly classified into two kinds that is plain pottery and painted pottery it is also called red and black pottery as used red color to paint polychrome pottery has also been found in harappa this is a type of pottery in which three or more mineral colors are used This pottery was rare and mainly comprised of small vases decorated with geometric pattern in red, black and green, rarely white and yellow. Much of the pottery of Indus Valley civilization found was for daily household purposes with various shape and size suitable for storage or cookware. beads and ornaments of indus valley civilization the indus people used precious stones for making beads steatite was the common material used for making beads gold and silver were also used for making beads the harappan men and women decorated themselves with a large variety of ornaments both men and women wore white necklaces filled with armlets and finger rings women's wore anklets and earrings necklaces made of gold and semi precious metal stones copper bracelets and beads gold earrings and head decorations all have been discovered in mohenjodaro and lothal beads were commonly made of amethyst jasper carnelian crystal steatite lapis lazuli etc unique metals like bronze gold shell and terracotta were also used in the beads the beads are in varying shapes disc shaped barrel shaped cylindrical and segmented some beads were made of two or more stones cemented together well developed beads industries were present at Chan Hudaro and Lothar Craft of Indus Valley Civilization The people of Indus Valley were gifted with talent regarding craft In the Indus cities there were men and women who made all kinds of things either in their own homes or in special workshop known as craft persons They were skilled in a variety of crafts 
metal casting, stone carving, making and painting pottery and making terracotta images, carpentry, etc. The Harappans were familiar with the manufacturing and use of bronze. The Harappan practiced spinning, boat making, bead making and seal making. Terracotta manufacture was also an important craft. The goldsmith made jewelry of silver, gold and precious stones. The Harappan produced their own characteristic pottery which was glossy and shiny. Making toys, jewelry, tools, etc. were some of the important occupation of this civilization. And finally, script of Indus Valley civilization. The Indus people knew the art of writing. The Indus script, also known as the Harappan script, it is the first form of written script found in Indian subcontinent. Harappan script are extensively seen in seal, pods, clay tablets. These artifacts were used by common people. So, historians believed that all people were literate, which means people who know reading and writing. The two features of Harappan script are it was pictographic in nature as a script consisted of designs of animals, fishes and various forms of human figures too. It was found to be inscribed on seals, terracotta, tablets, etc. In spite of many attempts, the interscript has not yet been deciphered. The decipherment of the script has become more difficult as they are engraved on small seals. Yet another problem in the decipherment is that the tradition of the interscript was not carried on in the later period. Several theories have been put forward about the script. Some theories argue it is a proto-Dravidian script and others it is a proto-Sanskrit script. Let us hope that the unveiling of the mystery regarding the Indus script will be done in the recent future which will of course provide further information to the existing knowledge about the Indus civilization. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe and click on bell icon. If you have any doubt regarding this video, Please do comment. So we will continue with the fifth part of Inter Valley Civilization in the next session. Till then, bye.